Warriors NRL Fanatics here back today with a video but before getting into it please make sure you don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below it's free it doesn't cost a thing and I'll guarantee you won't be disappointed with the content that I'm producing this year I've got many things to come in terms of pr player ratings previews and reviews of, of games of Warriors games NRL tips weekly as well as collabs with other YouTubers as well. And also coming up in February is the preseason trials. So I will be live reacting to those preseason trials, the two games, the one against the Melbourne Storm and the one against the Gold Coast Titans for the New Zealand Warriors. So stay locked in to the channel for that. Also, we'll do reviews on the preseason trials. Player reviews also is on the preseason trials also. And uh yeah, I'll do a preview as well of both those games. So make sure you do keep an eye out for those content to come in February. And uh, yeah, also don't forget to turn on the bell so you don't miss a notification when I do a new video. And hit that thumbs up on the video. Hit that like button. Click that like button down below as well. But let's get into it. So yesterday I did my Moldy All-Stars predicted 2022 team and tonight i'm going to do my indigenous all-stars team for the coming game against the moldy in february now starting off at fullback i've gone with nico hines on the wing i've gone with alex johnston and in the centers i've gone with katoni staggs and hamaso tebai fidel on the wing is josh addo car and in the halves i've gone with cody walker and Jamal Fogarty. The prop is Josh Kerr and the hook is Ruben Cotter. And in the other prop position, I've gone with Andrew Fafida, the second row of Josh Curran and Tyrell Fumiano Ono. And the lock is Tyrone Peachy. Onto the bench, I've gone with Connor Watson, Jermaine Tanoa Brown. Jack Whiten and the 17 is Chris Smith. So what I'm going to do is explain my selections like I did with my Moldy team the other day. So look, fullback, uh, you know, we all know that Latrell Mitchell is going to be missing this game because he's still got a suspension carry, carried over from last season after, you know, what happened with the Joey Joseph Marnie st situation. So he won't be playing. So... I know Alex Johnston could definitely fill in that spot, but I've gone with Nico Hines. I reckon Nico Hines, you know, deserves an opportunity, and I, I think he'll do quite well there. So Nico Hines um, is what I went with. Now, Alex Johnston on the wing, like I said, Alex Johnston could have played fullback, but I think he's uh, pretty good on the wing. Now, the centre pairing of Katoni Staggs and Hamaso Tabo Fidel, I think it's a very strong centre pairing. Katoni Staggs... Um, Last year had a lot of injuries. Um, he he had a lot of issues with injuries, but uh, look, I, I think he'll have a big season this year, Tony Staggs, and I'm keen to see how he goes. And you know that combination, however, so Tabai Fidel will be a very strong combination. And Josh Adokar, it's pretty straightforward for me. Look, no no reasons to explain that selection. You know he's always going to be in this. Indigenous All-Stars team. So that's a very strong back five for me, actually. I like that back five of Nico Hines, Alex Johnston, Katoni Staggs, Hamaso, and Josh Adokar. It's a very good back five. I think that will match up pretty well with the Moldy All-Stars back five. Now, the halves of Cody Walker and uh, Jamal Fogarty. I, I've gone solid and stuck with the same halves pairing from last year. I know a lot of people might be saying, oh, you Jack Whiten in the halves with, with Cody Walker instead, but I've gone with Jamal Fogarty. Look, I think Jack Whiten last season was pretty disappointing, and for me, I don't think he um, deserves to start in this game. Uh, Josh Kerr in the proposition, and I have a good strong forward there. Ruben Cotter in the nine. Look, I could have gone with anyone to play in that nine role. I could have gone with someone like Connor Watson, but Ruben Cotter did a solid job there last season season or last year sorry for the indigenous all-stars in that game up there in townsville so i reckon he'll get another good crack at the nine jersey uh, andrew fafita at the prop position i think andrew fafita 
um, had a bit of a struggled year last year, actually. He, he really had a struggling sort of year. Now, it's good to hear his health's much better. I know he had that incident, unfortunate incident. So, good to hear he's um, get feeling much better. But Andrew Fafida is always going to be in this um, Indigenous All-Stars team for me. Josh Curran and Tyrell Fumi, I know, Fumi Ma Ono. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Not my best pronunciation, but... Josh Curran had a great season last year, and um, look, there's no reason why I, I don't see him not being in the side altogether. He had a great year last year, and he was one of our best players. So I'm, I think he'll be our represent for the Warriors in, in this Indigenous team, and um, the lock is Tyron Peachy. So it's a very strong 13, and then I'll go to my bench, my selections for my bench. With Connor Watson, Jermaine Tanoa Brown, Jack Wyden, and Chris Smith. Now, this might be a bit of a strange bench selection for me because, look, I found this team more harder to select than the Maldi All Stars. Actually, I think the Maldi All Stars pretty pretty easy to select. This one was pretty difficult in terms of picking players for the bench. And um, Connor Watson, Connor Watson's a good player. He can play lock. He can play hooker. So he can come on and play any position. And um, yeah, I think. He'll suit that role pretty well in that 14 jersey. Jermaine Tanoa Brown as well, I think. Look, Jermaine Tanoa Brown probably didn't have his best year last year. But, uh, look, he started in this game last year as well. So, look, I think, oh, well, I think he started. Oh, no, sorry. I think he was on the bench. Actually, he was on the bench. My bad. So, he was on the bench last year. And I think he'll be on the bench again this year. And, um, yeah, look, that, that wraps up my 17. My Indigenous All-Stars 1-17 to team for the game against the Māori All-Stars in February. Like I said in my previous video, I am very looking forward to this game. Two good teams on paper. And uh, yeah, two teams representing their cultures out there to represent their cultures. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait for this game in February. But... Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you agree or disagree with my Indigenous All-Stars team? It's the best that I can come up with. Um, I did struggle to pick this team. I found it quite difficult. But this is what I could, could come up with the best um, in terms of the players uh, for the Indigenous. But if you don't agree, put your team in the comment section below. Put your Indigenous All-Stars team down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of my team too as well. So also don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. It's free. It doesn't cost a thing. And I would appreciate it very much. I will try and bring out as much content as I can before the start of the season. And I'll bring it out to the best of my ability to give you the best content available for the coming season. But don't forget as well to hit that thumbs up on the video. Turn on the bell so you don't miss a notification when I do a new video. And um, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.